It's no secret in the audio world, we all love our big fancy pieces of gear. Building out a system is great, but what happens when you replace an entire system with something like this? Let's talk about it. Hey, I'm DMS, you're watching The Headphone Show, and this is the Quest Style M15, a USB-C dongle DAC amp, and I've replaced my entire system with it for 100 days. Yep, my headphone system, not my speaker system. This does not power speakers. That would be really crazy if it did, but we're not quite to that level of future tech yet. This is plain and simple. You take a little USB-C cable that both powers and sends data to this device, it outputs 4.4 millimeter balanced, three and a half millimeter single ended, and there is a nice little low high gain switch on the side. And there's also an LED in here that lights up indicating what gain setting you have running. One other thing to consider, this does not have analog inputs either. So if you wanna use this with a record player, you're kind of out of luck there. The only input here is USB-C, so you have to run this off of a digital source, a computer or a phone. Now, there's a lot of dongle DAC amps out there, but they all seem to suffer from similar problems. That's when you plug them up to larger desktop headphones, they don't quite cut it on power. I mean, one of the best measuring DACs you can get on the entire market is the USB-C Apple dongle. So we know you can get good sound out of something in this form factor, but the power's never quite been there until this came around. You see, this thing actually puts out enough juice on the balanced output to power things like my Diana TCs. It powers the Aria pretty well. It powers the Ananda Nano. It even powers the LCD too, just fine. I mean, out of all those, the Diana TC is definitely the hardest to drive. I mean, I highly doubt someone's going to be powering a $5,000 planar headphone on a DAC amp that's roughly in the two to $300 range, but it's nice to know that you can and it sounds really good. You know what, I'll run you guys through the story a little bit. So at home, I use a pretty big variety of amplifiers, anything from your topping lineups to things made by Audio GD to some crazy Class A vintage stuff. This, well, I just started using it kind of for fun. It's nice to plug something up to my phone, sit back on the couch and listen to music without a computer in front of me. But then this started becoming more and more convenient. I mean, when I'm editing on the go, I'm using the MacBook Pro 13 inch. And that only has Type-C ports on it. So I started using this whenever I'm editing not at home. But upon realizing how much power it had and how good it sounds, well, I started plugging it up at home too. Then I realized I could clear off some space in my desk if I just ran a little USB-C cable to this and set it right there. So that's what I did. And after using it on my desk for about a week, well, I took all of my desktop amplifier gear and brought it here to the office. Now, I didn't get rid of everything, but I haven't been using that stuff for a full 100 days. It's just been this little guy. And the funny thing is, unless I'm driving something that is near impossible to power, say like the tungsten, this is way more than enough. It's not drawing the full power of a desktop amp from the wall. It saves me from having to have another cable plugged in. And the footprint is just crazy small. 10 years ago, there's no way something like this would exist. And if it did, it'd probably cost more than my car. Oh, I've been living in New York too long. I just said car like a northerner. Up here, they say car instead of car. Well, I can't really recover from that one. But another thing to note too, I love things like portable amps and I love daps. But this is what I'm gonna start bringing with me to shows. I still have a dap and I still use it sometimes. You may have seen my video a while back about should you use a dap or a dongle amp. And at the time, my argument was primarily just for a dap, but now that this exists, well, the dap isn't quite as powerful and this is pretty dang convenient. It's one less thing for me to have to carry when I'm at a trade show. Now, am I saying that the Quest Style M15 is the second coming of Christ, you should get rid of all your audio gear and only use this for the rest of your life? No. But I think that amplifiers in general, especially in this price range, are getting so good these days that they're pretty much indistinguishable in terms of power and sound. And now that you can have that in a dongle, why would you not? Now, other downsides, you don't have all the features of a desktop amp, so you're not going to be using this with a big knob on the front of it. You can't just instantaneously flip a switch and it output to preamp your speakers, but it's also not designed for that. You could use this as a DAC for a desktop set of speakers, absolutely. Should you? Well, that's kind of up to you. If you're going for a full desktop setup and you want to preamp speakers, then a regular desktop amp might make more sense. Me, I'm just switching between my speakers and my headphones and software, 
and using a volume knob digitally on my keyboard to control it. The coolest part of this for me though, is if QuestStyle have done this now, in a form factor and price like this, well, I'm curious what they're going to do in the future and what other brands are going to do in this space as well. I mean, I'm all about efficient tech. I bought in on ARM pretty early on, and honestly, there haven't been any regrets there. The same applies with this. I would be very hard pressed to believe someone can tell a difference between this and say something like an Atom, or a Magni, or a Zenam. And to be able to do all of that without taking up a big space on my desk and a wall outlet, well, it's more than enough to have me sold. So am I going back to my full-size desktop amp? No, not any time in the near future. If you guys want to keep up with that, well, I'm pretty active on Twitter. If I decide to switch to a desktop amplifier, you guys will be the first to know. I do still have a tube amp for my record player, but I don't use my records quite as often these days. And when I do, it's usually with my speakers. So that is the Quest Style M15. I wanna know what you guys think about this. I mean, yeah, it feels great to have a really big amp with a nice smooth knob on your desk, but if you could get the same thing out of something in this size, would you? Let me know in the comments down below. I think that's going to wrap up this video. So guys, if you liked it, leave a like down below. Comment, let me know what you want to see in the future. If you wanna get active in the community, get the forums or Discord, both available, the link in the video description. As always, don't forget to stick around, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Till next one, guys.